learned about the dot method see this this dot method is about only the addition and for the addition of so many numbers when to 10 or more numbers are there then to avoid the carry over we have to use the dot method then secondly for nikhilam so by nikhilam we want to find out the nikhilam so what do you mean by nikhilam you remember it that we can write the complement of the given number from uh, the given base that is which is useful in our nikhilam subtraction or nikhilam division and multiplication also so what is its complement so first we will know that is the complement where what we are going to know is suppose the complement of complement of 9 7 suppose i have taken then the base is uh, 10 and the complement is 3 and the complement of 9 is 1 that is you can say the addition is equal to the base so suppose we have taken the two digit number like so suppose this is 12 then we can say that uh, the addition is the here the base will be 100 and so we will have the last one nikhilam from the 10 and the first one from the 9 and so it is 88 okay so like this we can go for suppose again i will take one more that is suppose we want for to find out a complement of 74 then the last from 10 that is 6 and the first from the 9 that is 2 and so it is 22 so we can use this complement in the multiplication so we will find out how the nikhilam multiplication is taken this is this was our uh, third point that is nikhilam multiplication in this nikhilam multiplication what we have learned can you remember see our base is 10 or 100 or 1000 like that the zeros on the one will go on increasing and then we will see how many zeros are there will be the nikhilam base okay so suppose i will give you some examples that is suppose i want to multiply 9 by 8 the complement of 9 is of course 1 so 10 i this is less than the base and so i will write here for you for you the base is also 10 and this is 2 and what we are going to study that 8 minus 1 or 9 minus 2 will be 7 and 2 into 1 that is minus into minus will be 2 and so our answer is 72 like that suppose i will again take one more example for you that is 7 into 6 so the complement of 7 is 3 complement of 6 is 4 and then what you will see that 6 minus 3 will be equal to 3 and this is 12 so here there cannot be two digits because there is only one zero so you have to add over one here and so your answer will be 42 okay like that you can go for suppose again one more third and the last i will take you so it is minus 1 and minus 3 okay and then we know 7 minus 1 will be 6 or 9 minus 3 is also 6 and so 3 into 1 is 3 and so our answer is 63 so this is about the base 10 so suppose we want to find out the about the base 100 i will again take one example for base 100 that is suppose i want to multiply 99 into 98 how i will multiply this now the digits in the nikhilam should be 2 and so 99 will give, i will give you 0 1 and not only 1 and here also minus 0 2 and then you will know then 99 minus 2 will be 97 and 2 into 1 will be 2 and so my answer will be 97 0 
can you remember this method of course again i will do one more example for you suppose it is 96 into 99 again the base is 100 so there should be two digits and so this is minus 0 4 and this is minus 0 1 because 96 is less than 100 by 4 and so 99 minus 4 will be equal to 95 okay or 96 minus 1 also will give you 95 and then 4 into 1 will give you 4 and so the answer will be 9504 like this you can go on and on for the base 100 suppose I have taken one example for if it is 76 which is just away from the base but still we can do the same thing because to a 76 suppose it's a nickelum by nickelum I want a complement that is that will be minus 24 and for 96 it is 0 1 and so 76 minus 1 will give you 75 and 24 into 1 will give you 24 and therefore the answer will be 7521 so therefore don't forget to find out the complement whether the number is away from the base but one number should be nearer to the base then only this product will be uh, easy for you and then the product also will give you an easy answer again we will go for the third base that is thousand suppose now there are three digits three zeros and so there will be three digits in the complement that is suppose i want to multiply 999 multiplied by 998 so this is minus 001 see there are three zeros so we are writing three digits and here it is 002 and then by cross addition you will have 997 and the product is 002 and therefore the answer is 997002 okay so you can multiply like this with the base thousand also if you want i will take one more example suppose 995 into 991 can you multiply this orally of course see minus 005 will be the complement minus 009 will be the complement and then you know 991 minus 5 will give you 9 86 and then uh, 0 45 and so the multiplication is 9 86 0 4 5 okay so you know how to multiply by the nickelum when the base is 10 100 or 1000 or like that any greater number can also be there but here we have seen a method to find out by nickelum that so the numbers are all less than the base okay suppose the numbers are not less than the base or they are away from the base then we have learned some method suppose i want to multiply 32 into 48 now see it is not nearer to the 10 also not nearer to the very near to the 100 also so we have learned a same method see like this and then i can find out the product very easily see here i have written one number horizontally and one number vertically and of course i will uh, make the two parts of it and then multiply see we are avoiding to carry over so four twos are eight there will be no carry over four threes are twelve we will write two in the lower case and one in the upper case eight twos are sixteen and eight threes are twenty four so what is our answer from this only no carry over no addition but still we will go from this six then 4 plus 1, 5 plus 8, 13, carry over 1, 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 5 and 1. 
and so my answer will be uh, 3, 1, 5, 3, 6. Okay, 